hi guys welcome to cognitive hub talent tutorials in this video i am going to explain you about how to debug a job in talent studio normally there are two methods in new debugging a job in talent studio one is debug traces debug as well as java debug java debug is for mainly experience for mainly experienced people like it which requires uh, writing a j units or something like that and people who are dealing with talent studio doesn't have a lot of uh, java experience that is why most of the people will prefer for traces debug and which is a default feature in uh, talent studio that is what i am going to explain in this video now without wasting any time let's dive into the topic Okay guys, here what I am doing is, I have opened a job that I have previously created while illustrating the filtering using a tmap editor. If you have not yet followed that video, then go to that video in video lecture in my videos and then uh, go to come, to come again to this video. Now what I am doing is, I want to illustrate the how to use the debug option in uh, talent studio. Now what I am doing is, I am going to run tab here and i'm in the if it is in the basic run mode it is not showing any of any special buttons here for the connectors whenever i change it to debug run observe the changes that are appearing in the designer tan, designer panel now if i click to de debug run then it is uh, observing a few you are getting some few buttons here for every connector they, there is one each button here so this button is for this row like uh, for out one and this is for out two and this is for row one so for every connector where the content is moving from one component to another component you will be getting this type of components automatically when you move to debug run mode so we have two types of options here as i have already mentioned in the intro this is one is java debug and traces debug java debug is for experienced people and people who are writing for writing j units and all and traces debug is for people who have very little amount of java experience and uh, people who doesn't have any experience on java can also be able to learn how the debugging will run now what it will do is so what i'm doing is i'm just tra clicking the trace de traces debug here which is nothing but a set traces now so by default whenever it is running it is running slowly but for each record it will show the output how it is running and all at that point of time it is getting the pause button if you want to resume the input then you can also click that pause button i am running it again i am clearing it and i am running it again see the debug button here it is here it is showing pause i am just clicking it so it what it is showing is it is click it is showing as resume now the current input is the current output in the table is henry and that means it is some part of row and rakesh so henry which is not matched with rakesh that is why it is going to uh, that second uh, log output row and i am clicking it again so it is again pausing I am clicking it again now it is running again so this is how it will get executed so whenever traces debug is running you have a, you have two options available one is resume button as well as pause button you can if you want to pause the execution there itself then whatever the like whatever the record that is currently executed that is appear in your uh, designer Suppose if you want to resume the uh, execution and again you want to pause at some record then you can also do that uh, using a traces debug option. So these are nothing but a tra like uh, set traces, I am clearing it again. So each each button here is nothing but a set traces. If you want to in disable this output like suppose if you if I don't want to show the if I don't want to like uh, debug the values that are running from first component to tmap component then i can also disable these traces here i am i am clicking disable traces here so observe the icon change here icon change it to plus button to minus button so i am clicking traces debug again so what is it getting it it will only get the two tables one is uh, for row one and another one is row two so there is no table for the, uh, like row one main one 
so this is how you can disable the traces where you don't want the debug where you don't want to debug so i am again enabling is traces enable so it is come to original uh, mode now what i am doing is i am double clicking this each button i want to print like suppose if i don't want to print the age here for this uh, input i am unclicking the age and i am clicking ok suppose i don't want to print uh, last name here i am unclicking the last name and clicking the first name and la age as enable and similarly for t log row 1 i don't want first name i want only rakesh uh, last name and age so i am unclicking last name so what i am doing is i am saving it that is how you can like uh, you can change you can change the options uh, like uh, you can change the options using a setup traces mode so i am again clicking the traces debug so observe the changes in the tables so here in for the first row you are getting only first name and last name for the t log row 2 you are getting only first name and age for the t log row 1 you are getting only last name and age so this is how you will get the outputs and you can also do breakpoints if you have a sufficient version in your uh, sufficient version of talent studio present in your system i am using a talent free open software that is why i am not getting here uh, that uh, enable breakpoint option if you are using any uh, like talent trial version or uh, talent uh, licensed version then you will, you might get uh, option for uh, enabling the breakpoints and all if you enable the breakpoints um, it is also very simple click if you enable the breakpoint then you are getting uh, two more options here in the debug mode one is for next that is the next breakpoint execution and another one is breakpoint button and something like kill and uh, clear button so breakpoint button breakpoint execution is a little bit different from debugging execution but basically this is how you can do the debugging for your job and you can show the row, row, row by row execution in uh, traces debug so that's all for this video guys thank you for watching